guys, this is Haley from OneOneRabbits.com and today I have a very, very exciting video for everyone. So as you can see from the title of this video, Sterling and Ebony are actually bonded. So I thought I'd go ahead and give you a quick cage tour and then I would kind of explain why I decided to bond Sterling and Ebony. So you start by walking in the door. I have all of their treats lined up here uh, just so that I can easily access them when I want to give them one and I just walk in and this is the floor area kind of just an overview right on the left here we do have their water dish on this little pad thing just so that the water doesn't get all over the cement floor then i have some scattered toys around in this back corner i do have this giant litter box filled with crinkle paper. This is just packaging that came inside a package that I ordered online, but it's just natural paper, so I gave it to the bunnies for a diggy box for them to dig and shred it up. I'm hoping they don't use it as a litter box as well, but if they do, it's inside of a litter box, so it's really not gonna be that big of a deal. Then moving to the right, I have this homemade Heidi house that I made them. And then over to the right of that, we have their Ikea bed, which I haven't used this in a long time. I have a towel underneath and then a really old Snug-a-Bun on top. This is from like six years ago, it's so old. And then I have a mini Snug-a-Bun here because Ebony does fit in the mini Snug-a-Buns. I do have one for her just in case she wants to use that, but normally she uses the regular sized ones. And then this is where I'm gonna put another Snug-a-Bun, but uh, I just have the pillows sitting here because the cover is still in the dryer, but it should be done in a couple minutes. So I'll go ahead and put that there once it's finished. If you guys are curious in a Snug-a-Bun, I will have it linked up in the iCard to my Etsy shop where I sell them. And then we just have their ramp going up and then over here is their blue plastic Heidi house which they love. Then I have this NIC grid Heidi house which is just one grid wide by it's like three grids long I think it might be like two and a half grids long I'm not sure and then they're both actually sleeping under here so <laughs> they're just sterling and ebony they're just snuggling. It's really hard to see them through all this cage bars but kind of try to show you here they are oh I woke him up <laughs> but yeah they were just snuggling under there and then this actually has a door that comes out this way and then they can come this way into the litter box section with their hay rack hi buddy oh look at that cute nose oh, hi sweetie oh goodness oh goodness you think I have treats oh look at that nose oh it's so cute hi ebony oh goodness look at your nose so as you may know i have been talking a lot recently about how i was not going to bond my bunnies and how especially ebony was going to be alone the reason i said that was i actually believed ebony did not want a friend and i thought her anxiety would get a lot worse with other bunnies just because her anxiety was a lot worse when she was with Mocha and Lulu. However, I do know that Lulu is a very hard rabbit to get along with and I do think Lulu was mainly the problem with Ebony and their personalities just didn't clash and you know, they just really didn't get along that well. So I decided to b try and bond Ebony with Sterling just because I've never tried them alone before and I was just really curious if it would possibly work out. Um, especially because Sterling needed a friend and I don't really have the time or money to um, get another bunny from a shelter for him so I really would would have preferred just to have Ebony be his bonded mate so I went ahead and tried it and it surprisingly worked very very well Sterling and Ebony never fought once um, I would say they bonded very very easily there was some territorial issues like always but honestly it was a very smooth bond and within three sessions they already spent their first night together and so far I think they've been together two or three weeks as of now I think it's been like two and a half weeks so they've been doing very well there's still a little bit of territorial stuff going on but that's kind of normal with bunnies um, there's like head wars which they're kind of doing now um, Sterling and Ebony will kind of hump each other and chase each other still but in all honesty they are getting along very very well I do want to give a quick shout out to everyone on patreon they actually found out ahead of time that I bonded Sterling and Ebony together so if you guys want access to information ahead of everyone else you can go ahead and join my patreon the link will be in the corner and down in the description I want to give a huge shout out to Misha for being a part of my production 
production team over on Patreon. And that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon on a new video. Bye!